Hi, this is Gene Haas, and this is Speed City. Welcome back to the fastest hour in radio, Speed City. Don't forget, we've got a exclusive interview with Logan Sargent talking about his upcoming drive here at Coda. And we also have Sean Kelly, the, the F1 virtual stat man. We got those two interviews coming up. But gentlemen, let's talk a little IndyCar. Because ah. it, it just ended. It was supposed to Ooh. start at 2 Austin time. And with with lightning delays. Well, I was and, there yesterday and had the that's same. Right, I, we yeah. had the same delay for Trans Am. Yeah. Um, so How it was, was the a long day. there, Jonathan. Oh, <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Yeah. I was in a black Trans Am shirt, and I have to tell you, yeah, I probably lost about four pounds, which is quite, which is not a bad thing. But um, no, it was very hot, very humid. Um, and it had been that way. The Nashvillians tell me that's how it is, is most that, of the is time. Is that the technical no, term, Nashvillian? No, I like it though. It's good, but no. Uh, but your your uh, Trans Am show is going to be on CBS coming up, right? Yes, uh, next weekend. You've got the details. I've, I, I never this remember. This is CBS. There you go. Yeah. I threw it when in is the, it on? I threw it in the show doc. It's, yeah, watch uh, the show. AT, tell you what, Trans Am around Nashville, a real good watch. I have to be yeah. honest. And I'm working with um, one of the greatest, uh, um, Al Anza Jr. So you can't beat ah, that. That is so cool. <laughs> well, that's cool. You're that's in cool. the booth with little Al. Yeah. So that's seven thirty, August thirteenth, uh, seven thirty Eastern. Um, yeah, that's Saturday, excuse me, yeah. 7.30 Eastern uh, on the CBS Sports Network, and it'll be repeated sometime after. All right, well, let's talk IndyCar because it did take forever, but, um, I, and you know what? We, well, we have, that was we because have... of the 172 yellow flags they had. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I don't even know what the final number was. What was it, like nine? I think it was nine. Well, there was more last year, but there was 12. Yeah. Yeah. But 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 the, the good thing is uh, uh, NBC were on it, though, yeah. with, Mark, with our I, good friend, yeah, with our good friend Lee Diffie. And, and was it my imagination? Poor Lee. Yeah. Did, did he get a little tired towards the end? Let's, let's go here in Nashville, Tennessee, to see if we can finish off this big machine. <laughs> Music City Grand Prix. There's the green. Here we go. Uh, uh, <laughs> yeah, I think he did. He tailed off there a little, didn't he? Uh, okay, that, that was us slowing you down. But I, I, we that just was have to torment Lee. That sounds like That's me and him about midnight in, in, in a bar somewhere. I think that was actually with 10 laps to go yeah. after the seventh yeah. or eighth or whatever but yeah. but hey great scott what a finish uh, yeah. the wow. two kiwis going wheel to wheel and he's done it again the maestro he's put himself i think it's within yeah. six points now of the lead yeah he's, uh, he's way up there i mean like you know and by the way if he wins the title he gonna be equal with the great texan that is aj yeah Foyt. super tex aj yeah i know amazing yeah, that's cool that's rare error I it mean, is it rare. really is it's a, it's a big deal even if he was from, I don't know. Boston. I'd love to see it happen, especially with AJ still around and able to congratulate him. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. I wonder if they have a relationship. How I don't well know. They, you know. AJ's a he's a he's a interesting cat. <laughs> well, he's it, one you don't mess with. <laughs> generationally, I mean, we've seen that with other racers that you know, generationally, there's not always a great connection or admiration shared. Just find that interesting. Well, yeah. what, what about well, the, the, man, the competitors, Scott Dixon? Aren't they? Scott Dixon, Dixon winning this race, man. I know that's, that's it's, fantastic. It's fantastic. And and by the way, again, you know, he does what he does well. Uh, he's like a cat. They say they, he always lands on his. I think it was Townsend uh, yeah. Bell that said he, he's like a cat. He lands on his feet every time he falls because he wasn't in a position to win this race. He had damage to the back of the car. They had to adjust the car so he didn't have the downforce that he wanted. He was being chased hard by Lundqvist uh, and you know Lungard, excuse me, and was in real trouble at one point. Um, but he held on. Yeah, he really did. The thing that uh, they replayed a couple of scenes of his and even commented on it that, yeah, he lands on his feet, but when those accidents happen in front of him, he is miraculous at dodging them. Yeah. And staying out of the way and not creating another one. With yeah, he's, he's got spidey sense for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so Scott Dixon and McLaughlin. McLaughlin, I didn't know if he had a shot at catching him there at the end. Oh, I think well, it, he was it, pole, you see, and he's. Yeah. Well, I was actually watching that. On the way here to the studio, because uh, I was trying to watch it at stop signs and stop lights, but I couldn't. It didn't look like he was close enough. You to really win. shouldn't mi admit that on, on, oh, on the air. It's true, but but uh, I was the freaking last two minutes of the IndyCar race. I had to. Your, your wife was driving the car. So mm, yeah, fine. no, that's not I'm, okay. I'm, I was the, watching the, the it. The dog was driving the car at the stop signs. Okay, so. But so, so did McLaughlin had a shot, did he? Oh, absolutely, he had a shot, and in the end, they crossed the line within inches. Uh, I mean, he almost had a pop at him at eleven. The the obvious overtake was at nine. That's um, uh, the corner, really, that Nashville sort of 
puts up as being the obvious overtake. But they narrowed it uh, by 50 feet this year and put an extra hospitality. So whoever was paying for that hospitality, <laughs> I hope they got a good look because I sat in the stands right there yesterday and it is a fantastic view. Well, wow. The, you know, the however many, I don't know if you decided how many yellow flags, how many safety car, but it was not really the greatest thing for IndyCar, really. I mean, to me, I, no. I, I was frustrated with it, trying to watch it, going, oh, are we, you know, how many times are we going to do this? But Yeah, I, it's hard. It's a hard one. I mean, ironically, our race in Trans Am was relatively clean. And just a shout out quickly to uh, two things, really, in the Trans Am. You want to watch this race. 14 years and three months, the guy that wins it. That's all I'll tell you. Uh, and also, Scott Borchetta, who is Big Machine, who is the man that put this event right. on from start to finish, and has done that across, um, you know, other indie events too. But he races in Trans Am as well as promotes uh, races, including this one in Nashville, because Nashville's his home, um, came third wow. in Trans Am, his best ever finish ever. And that's, you know, perfect conditions, no reason why anybody else couldn't beat him. And he be beat a raft of really, really great racers. That's cool. Well, you know, the issue, okay, you know, I mean, we're kind of making fun of how many yellow flags there are, but yeah, it's a tight course. Yeah. It's rough. It's yeah. street. I love the we scenery. We knew it was coming last year. Yeah, I, I love the scenery. The going over the bridge mm -hmm. is was great there. Yeah. But uh, one of the guys, I forget who it was, said that you know I think there were eleven cars with ten laps to leap, to finish. That's it. That's how many were left. Yeah, yeah. The attrition rate due to accidents, due to all of that, I think is going to stir up the teams. Mm -hmm. That hey, you got to give us some elbow room a little bit more, things like that, uh, which, you know, I, I agree. Getting down to only having 11 cars that late in the race, uh, that's a little much. That, that's beyond sport to me. Mm. Uh, yeah, I mean, I see where you're saying that. I don't know. I mean, it, it's, it was fun to watch. I, I, I was frustrated with having to stop so many times, but I don't know, less if I agree 100%, but it was... Um, it was fun to watch. Like Colton Herta, to me, oh, yeah. I mean, it, I have it in my notes. He was, it was only like a third lap with that the contact with, yeah, lap three, Col uh, Dalton Kellett. They, you know, he had to change the nose and swap tires and made it all the way back up, what, finished fifth. And, but it, that's kind of where, what Colton's been doing a lot this year, hasn't it? It seems like yeah. he throws himself too much into everything and puts himself down. And then clearly his, natural ability brings him back into this and, and i know he's still young but I mean, you know if he does ever get that f1 shot or if he's going to become an indycar champion he needs to kind of rein that in don't y'all agree don't y'all agree oh yeah, yeah. i think oh, we okay. said this uh what about six years ago about some young kid named max yeah that's mm -hmm. not a bad comparison actually but uh you know I'd, there are lots of cool things and and you john you and i both lit on one story the uh the new, uh, the new plant for rubber. The plant, they're, the Indy cars going plant based. Their well, tires are plant based. Yeah. I they, didn't get to study that. They're going to run that. on CBD oil? <laughs> no. <laughs> it's some. That's going to really slow down pit stops. Uh, <laughs> no, probably best I don't. <laughs> <laughs> Is that Cheech Marin? No. <laughs> oh, come oh on, that's man. pretty funny, actually. Come on, last. man. Uh, but yeah, they're apparently running those those uh, plant based tires now. It's really fascinating to, to all the different technologies. I was trying to read one about how they're going to replace carbon fiber in Formula One with another organic compound. Similar, uh, they're not going to be able to replace the the major strength structural ones, but some right. other things that don't have to have quite does so it, much. Does it really count if it's a rubber plant though? <laughs> It's, it's oh, all fake news. There you go. A see? rubber plant for tires. Oh, yeah. Now we're getting there. Uh, so yeah. So the plant is called Gaule. G -U -A -Y -U -L -E, bless you. A Y U L E, and it's a desert shrub. Apparently, uh, very drought tolerant. It's uh, somewhat slow growing. I mean, it's three years to maturity to to harvest and do this. But it's a really cool thing to basically create a natural uh, based rubber. And so it's a primary source for the uh, for the natural rubber is that shrub that they use and they refine and they do all those kind of things to it. So it's really uh, that's cool. It's cool. Somebody else is looking at that. Maybe it'll to, be on your test. To be one fair, next time. rubber rubber is grown naturally. So because yeah, but I think science. most tires isn't it synthetic rubber? Yeah, that they, a lot of it. Yeah. yeah. If if not all of it, I don't know. Uh, we're we're not we're not chemists. We do not know.
Uh, all right, what else on IndyCar? I'm just looking at who uh, who finished where. Uh, you know, Alexander Rossi's had on a nice little resurgence, hasn't he? Finished fourth yep. today. Yep. Uh, McLaughlin's. But the championship. Great, what what the big story is? Uh, Marcus Ericsson um, didn't finish, and therefore uh, that's really thrown yeah. the championship wide open. Uh, with, and with, especially with Dixon winning. As any, I doubt they've updated their site refresh because it was willpower, 431. And yeah, power's there. still in the hunt. I mean, what about the top, what is it, the top eight within, mm. you know, it, you could, nobody's really said this is going to be my championship yet. And, you know, we're pretty deep in the season. So yeah. no, it's true. pretty cool. Uh, let's see. You know what, guys, we're up at the towards the bottom of the hour. Let's go ahead and take a quick break. When we come back, we are going to have that interview with Logan Sargent and some more Formula One talk, including one that somebody just brought up on YouTube, the IndyCar, I mean, excuse me, the Andretti attempt mm. for Formula One. So we'll talk about that. You're listening to Speed City live from Austin back after this.